Incredibly, baboons face many of the same social pressures that we do. For the past 25 years, Robert Sapolsky has been studying stress in baboons. So you want to understand why some humans get stress-related diseases, others don't. Go look at a baboon out in the Serengeti. They've got nine hours of free time every day to devote to just generating miserable psychological stress for each other. They're just like us in our westernized lifestyles. By measuring the levels of hormones in male baboons, Sapolsky has shown that stress-related illnesses, such as heart disease, are dependent on personality. So what counts as a disaster of a baboon when it comes to stress management? I had this guy a few years ago. His name was Nick. He was the epitome of what type A is about. His worst rival shows up on the field and takes a nap 100 yards away. This is an outrage. Unsurprisingly, Nick the baboon had incredibly high stress levels. As a result, he suffered from high blood pressure, a depressed immune system, had dangerously high cholesterol levels, and died young. In contrast, I had this other guy named Joshua, who was one of my all-time favorites, and this guy just was this zen baboon. What he mostly spent his time doing, as far as I could tell, was walking away from fights that your average male baboon would wind up in the middle of, and instead grooming with females and playing with kids. Joshua had the lowest levels of stress hormones in the group. His health was good, he bore more children, and he outlived his rivals by years. Personality has a lot to do with how stress affects you. But if you're a type A personality, like Jude, does that mean you're stuck with it forever? Absolutely not. Lots of studies showing with a lot of work, you can change type A profiles and you change the physiology as well. But it doesn't come easy. In fact, it requires a discipline that has long been known in the East. Jude is dealing with her stress. Twice a day, she takes 20 minutes out to meditate. Using a method called transcendental meditation, she repeats a word in her head and tries to free her mind of thought. Sometimes you're completely free of thoughts. Other times you will get thoughts that will come through your head. You just let the thoughts come and go. The stillness and the peace actually comes again. So by the end of your 20 minutes, you just feel good, you feel refreshed. Within six months of meditating, Jude saw a big difference in her blood pressure. And for the first time in ages, it was, um, it was normal. I mean, you know, well normal, probably more normal than it had ever been. So what is it about meditation that allows Jude to control her stress response? Thank <laughs> you. 